Now, imagine that you've got a long list of numbers of twos, threes, fours, and fives. Okay? And we're talking here about like tens or hundreds of numbers all in on a big sheet of paper. And then I ask you, work out the mean. Now, the problem is there's just too many numbers to cope with. Uh, the likelihood of you making a mistake is incredibly high. So, what you would do is instead of working with this big long ream of paper full of numbers, is put the numbers into a table, into a frequency table. So, we're going to have the numbers and their frequencies. So, remember, frequency means how many. And we're going to call this column the x's, okay, our numbers. So the frequency, let's say we had 52s, uh, 103s, 304s, 304s, 303s, 303s, and um, 85s. Okay? So we've got a huge number, a list of numbers. Now, if you were going to then work out the mean, what you'd need to think about is, well, I'm going to need to add them all up somehow. So I know that I've got 52s. So 50 times 2 would be 100. Okay, so I'm going to create this new column of x times the frequency. So we have two lots of 50 is 100. Then I've got 103s. So they would all add up to 300. Then I've got 300 fours, which would add up to 1,200. And then I've got 85s, which would add up to 400. So that's, so I've added up all the twos, got 100, add up all the threes, got 300, add up all the fours, got 1,200, and add up all the fives, and I got 400. So if then I added up all of the numbers, that's the same as adding these numbers together, which would be 400, 1,600, 2,000. So all of the numbers together add up to 2,000. Now, one, to work out the mean, we add them all up and divide by how many there are. We know what they are all together. So I now need to find out how many there are, and that is by finding out the total of a frequency. So that's 150, 450, that's 530. So the mean can be found by adding them all together and dividing by how many there are. So 2000 divided by 530. So 2,000 divided by 530 is, well, 3.77 to two decimal places. Now, does that make sense, that 3.77? Well, 3.77 certainly does make sense. Uh, it is, first of all, a number between 2 and 5. You would expect that. If you'd got something like 10, there are no number 10s in your list. So anything that is less than 2 or more than 5 would have been wrong. So that's a very easy way to check. Now 3.77, if you look at where the majority of the numbers are, the majority are between 3 and 4. There were 100 threes and 300 fours. Okay? So that meant that that bulk is there, so you would expect your mean to be somewhere between 3 and 4. So it does fit the data that we have. So that is how you can work out the mean from a frequency table.